Hello everybody and welcome to this video where if you have ever struggled with voice, consistency, or perspective, stick around because these writing tips are going to help you take care of all that stuff, conquer those fears, and get out of your head and get you just writing on the page. So this actually comes from Chase. This is a question she sent in. I can't control my voice in writing. It's not that I want a rigid sound or create a certain premeditated aesthetic. I just need help with consistency and mainly advice on how to tap into the right me. There is no way I could find one decent source in my brain and say, I'm writing from that perspective. I'm switching it up all the time like a goldfish swimming around a plastic castle. Everything I do seems different and new to me, yet always this stunted language. Nothing ever fits. I can't even formulate a sentence to explain my problem. Maybe I should do music instead, lol. Now check this out. The thing about doing music instead, that's the exact same thing that you're talking about. Like when I was writing songs, okay, I knew my verse was going to be four bars long and my chorus would be four bars and the song would probably go verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus meaning the main idea of the song I'm going to repeat like probably three times in the song but my verses are going to be different and my verses are going to be four lines long and then I might have a bridge that's like two lines to just take me from one side of the chorus to the next side of the chorus you know what I'm saying so maybe writing like this will help you at least narrow your focus down. So instead of just writing out how you normally write, break it up into like stanzas, like this will be a quatrain, this will be a couplet, like quatrain four lines, couplet two lines, and just do that. But then have your main idea, the chorus of your poem, be the one thing that you will hit on a couple different times. You know what I'm saying? but that you're going to repeat the idea. So before you start writing anything down, because I feel like a lot of times with your writing, you start writing because you want to write, and it takes you a few lines to get to what the main idea of what you're writing about is. And then you start going. Maybe that's helpful. Another thing that you can do, and I've probably read more of your work than anybody, okay? So please hear me and believe me when I say this. You're saying that you write from all these different perspectives. When I read your stuff, it just sounds like it's coming from you. And it doesn't sound like you're writing through someone else's eyes. Like whenever I read your stuff, I just think I'm reading Chasey's stuff. Like it, it's never like I feel like the the reader is someone different. Now I know you were saying, um, says the girl with identity issues, but when I read your stuff, it's all you. Like, it doesn't come off as different different identities or anything like that. It just sounds like you. Like, originally, genuinely you. The other thing with this is, I think even if you feel that your stuff is kind of all over the place and there isn't much consistency there. I think what you offer is something that is going to really shine with a certain audience. So sometimes your poems are like really narrow. Sometimes your poems are just like giant bricks of text. Sometimes your poems are like a little bit over here, a little bit over here, a little bit over here, a little bit over here. Bit over here. Like you have fun with the layouts you do different stuff with every poem and there are going to be readers who find that refreshing and just like with me my poetry isn't for everyone i know this you know what i'm saying and your poetry will not be for everyone and that's fine what you have to do is just give the people who like your stuff more stuff of yours to read and that's how you build your audience put yourself in a place where the people who like that stuff will find you 
and then they will spread it. They spread it out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you can't control your voice in writing. I think that's kind of one of your strengths that when you read, when someone comes reading your work, it's going to be all over the place all the time, but all chasey. You know, this is all you. And this like kind of controlled chaos is what your writing's all about. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, your metaphor game is fucking on point. You you feel like a goldfish swimming around a plastic castle. That's fucking brilliant. Like, you're really good. I've told you this so many times that when you leave comments on my videos and stuff and in the Anarchy Crew chats and shit, it's like those comments are their own poems. Like, you're really, really good at that. And your shit is raw and your shit is from the heart. You know, so like, I feel like a lot of the stuff that you're thinking is a problem, no one else would find as a problem as a reader of your work. And when you say like, everything I do seems different and new to me, yet always the stunted language, lay into your stunted language if you feel like your language is stunted. The reason why you would say that is if you've been reading other people's stuff and you feel like their vocabulary is greater than yours, okay? So you're constantly at this point comparing yourself to other people. And if you're worried about that kind of shit, do one of those word a day things. There's websites that do it, there's apps that do it, that like every day it teaches you a new word. Like if you're worried about your vocabulary, just start reading a dictionary. It's gonna be boring as fuck, but you'll learn new words. If that's what you want to do, I would just say don't lay into that because then you're going to start throwing words into shit that 99% of the people who are reading your stuff don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know, like, you know how to craft a line, you know how to use metaphor. You do this all the fucking time, whether it is in a comment, in an email or in a poem, like you are extremely talented Okay, I would say quit being so hard on yourself because when, like, again, when I read your work, I just read, this is a poem from Chasey. Like, I don't go, like, I wonder what part of Chasey this is. It's never like that. It never reads like that. A lot of this um, control, consistency, perspective, all of this stuff, to me, reads more like you're having doubt about the stuff you do. And again, I just did a video about this and I can't find it anywhere. So maybe I'll rehash some of this right now. A lot of the times when we talk about doubt, what that doubt actually is, is fear of failure. Like we doubt if like this is good enough. We doubt if our language skills are good enough. We doubt if our perspective is okay, if our voice is right. But really what that is, it's not for us that we're afraid of that. We're afraid that other people are going to say those things about us. So that's where the fear comes in. And what you need to do is just be okay that not everyone is going to like your stuff. Like seriously, if I fucking worried about how many people don't like my shit, nothing would ever come out. But I don't give a shit about that. I write because I have to write, but I put my stuff out because there is a group of people out there who love my work. And I love, like, giving them my work, you know? So you're doing it. And if the music thing I talked about earlier, if you want to try that, try that. But other than that, I wouldn't change anything you're doing because the stuff you're doing is uniquely you, okay? So everybody out there, be unique, be you. I can't remember if that was like a Pepsi ad or something like that, whatever. But yeah, so if you felt this was helpful at all, go ahead and break them thumbs and um, like this video. New book out now. When are your mom's sodomy price for poetry? Links will be down below. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.